Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nate the Lighting Guy and welcome to another video where uh, it's not part two of the Pioneer CDJ 800 Make 2 Repair. That's coming next, that's what's mostly all over this desk. But for this video I wanted to talk about the Elation Professional DP415. This is a dimmer slash relay pack that, that actually dimmer slash switch pack that I won on an auction site and when I powered this thing up for the first time, I tried it out on DMX, and it uh, was receiving the DMX signal. All the lights were, all the indicator lights were showing that it was receiving the signal. But strangely enough, only the fourth outlet was working. So I dug a little deeper and found and found out that there was actually the fuses on channel one, two, and three were all burnt out. The fourth one was the only one working. So I went to the local Ace Hardware here and picked up um, a couple fuses. Now. The fuses that go in these units are rated at 250 volts, 6.3 amps, and Ace Hardware didn't exactly have those in stock, but what they did have was these 120 volt 6 amp fuses, so I believe these are suitable replacements. Um, comparing the wire thickness to the fuses that were originally in there, these ones are actually a little thinner, so I mean, at the very least it offers probably a little more protection. Um, but yeah, that was what I picked up for the unit. So I'm going to take the camera, zoom it up closer while we take this thing apart and get the fuses replaced and hopefully that fixes our issue. So to remove the cover, it's just simply these four screws on the back. Make sure it's unplugged. And uh, so if we take the multimeter and set it to continuity mode. So this is channel one. Just so you know it's working. So this is channel one. Nothing there. Channel two. Nothing there. Channel three. Nothing there. Channel four. So... Being that channel 4 was the only channel that was working when I was testing the unit, it makes total sense why that was, why this could be the case. So, and we're going to go ahead and pop these fuses out. Yeah, those were pretty fried. <laughs> Yeah, even without the continuity meter, those things were visually very fried. So we'll get into the package of these uh, new fuses. Start popping them in there. It's not helpful having all these wires in the way. Come on. There we go. And then the last fuse over in this one right here. Do a quick test, make sure we got everything. All right, looks good. So I don't actually have any PAR lights, the uh, any of the non-DMX ones but I do have four sets of Christmas lights. So I just hooked those into this dimmer pack and we'll see if uh, replacing the fuses actually worked. Here's channel four, the one that was working previously. Here's channel three. Oh, channel two. And channel one. Yay! Well, that makes me happy. So they're all working now. Cool. I took some time to program a few lighting patterns and advanced chases. This dimmer pack responds to DMX commands very quickly, which is helpful when running strobing effects. I plan on using this to control a few of my non-DMX fixtures. The capability of running the switch only operation makes it ideal for this use case. This is the Elation Professional DP415. Until next time, I'm Nate the Lighting Guy and thanks for watching.